Welcome to the channel. Today we will see Stanley Finds Living Stone by Lawrence Wilson. Let's we see the summary of this prose. Introduction part. David Livingstone is a Scottish medical missionary and explorer. He was interested more in exploring place. For an assignment, he traveled to Africa to explore place in 1865. After some time, so no one knew the where about the about of Livingstone. New York Herald newspaper assigned Stanley to find Livingstone in Africa. The title of the prose tells the situation of the incident. This particular chapter is an extract from the book with the same title. Mr. Bennett assigned the task to Stanley. In 1869 October, James Gordon Bennett, a son of the owner of the New York Herald, met Stanley in Paris. Stanley was there on a mission to collect information regarding civil war in Spain. Mr. Bennett assigned the task of finding Livingstone to Stanley. For nearly four years, there was no communication from Livingstone and no whites had reported of seeing him in Africa. Thus, no one know whether he was alive or dead. Mr. Bennett thought that the writings of search for Livingstone would increase the circulation of his newspaper. So, he assigned the task to Stanley. He was ready to spend thousands of pounds for the assigned work. Stanley wants to prove himself. Stanley was born in North Wales, UK as an illegitimate son. He was seen as an unwanted child and suffered under his saddest employer. Later, he escaped from there by sailing to New Orleans. He met an affectionate person named Henry Moran, Stanley, whose name he had adopted later. He considered himself as an American citizen and fought for America in civil wars and later worked for New York Herald. As he wanted to prove himself with great achievement, he immediately accepted the task to find Livingstone in Africa. Stanley started his voyage. In January 1871, Stanley started his voyage. He decided to reach Ujiji on the shores of Lake Tanganyaka which was 750 miles from the coast. It was from this place people received information about Livingstone finally. Mr. Bennett did not send money to Stanley as he promised. Yet through his positions, he borrows money from the American consul. He decided his budget and bought supplies for two years. His luggage contained weapons, bullets, cloth, tent, medicine, utensil for cooking, food and native money. This luggage was around 70 pounds. Ignorance of Stanley Stanley employed 200 Zanzibars as porter. Two white men were appointed to supervise them. They started their sail from the mainland in the month of March. On the way, he heard some more porter. They joined with their family and cattle and started the journey cheerfully. Through various routes extended to reach Ujiji, out of ignorance, Stanley selected a tough route. The hot climate affected the sailor and due to the insects, people suffered with fever. Stanley started to face many problems. The native porters, after getting money for the assigned work, escaped from the place and some others stole the things that they were carrying. The next eight months were the tough period for Stanley as he kept the supporter either by force or by affection. Mirabo blocked his voyage. They reached their regular routes used by the herbs trader. They traveled from one village to another and got food necessary things from later. Later, Stanley too suffered with the high fever. Later, he joined with the herb traders for safety. When the African chiefs Mirabo blocked his voyage, his troops along with the herb fight with him. Stanley decided to take another route. Stanley, by deciding to avoid battle, traveled through unknown countries. The sailors suffered with various diseases and when they tired to escape, Stanley chained them and put them under his control. When it was 60 miles for Ujiji, he received information from people that a white man was living there. Stanley was excited to receive such information by considering him as a living stone to reach Ujiji. They had to 
across Waha territory, but the head of the Waha tribe was demanding huge amount to cross the area. He had to cross five such villages to reach Ujiji, and each place demands a huge amount to cross the border. So he decided to take uh, another route, which was ob obviously a longer one. When they reached the desi destinations, Stanley became nervous regarding Livingstone's re reaction. He dressed himself in a pleasant manner to meet Livingstone. Voyage brought great fame for Stanley. Ujiji people gathered to welcome Stanley. St Livingstone's servants welcomed him and directed him to the house. Stanley was un uncertain about the reception of Livingstone. As Stanley suffered with the inferiority complex about his birth and childhood life in UK, he had doubts about Livingstone's reaction. But his braveness and talent to cross many troubles in the voyage gave him confidence. Livingstone, a kind person, invited him with love. Soon Stanley understood the greatness of Livingstone and started admiring him. This voyage brought great fame to Stanley. In the video, you like put it in the mark, like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.